know, what's your name? Gabriel? Gabriel might be that leadoff guy who knows how to bunt. He moves guys over. He can hit behind runners. What we call that is a good situational hitter. Every single team needs to be a good situational hitter on the team. Now you may, Gabriel, you may be over three, but you may have bunted a guy over. You may have hit a run, hit behind a runner at second base, move him to third. That's an out. But you actually helped the team win because the next hitter knocks him in, and you didn't. It's because of you. And that's all about becoming like what I call an unselfish ball player. Okay? Now, I'm going to move on from being an offensive player. What's, the point? What's your name? Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Andrew Gabriel. What position do you play? Pitcher? Hitter? What's your name? You just told me. I can say you made the third out. Say you made the third out of an inning. Now I'll, go, I'll, I'll go back to Jack. Jack, you made the last out, base was loaded, tight ball game, and you went out on defense and you're playing second base, right? And the first quick pitch of the inning comes, comes to you and, and you miss it. And you made an error because you were worried about your last at bat. Yeah, how many times you guys have done that? You make an out, and you get frustrated, you go out on defense, and you're still thinking about your offense, and you haven't concentrated on your defense. So when playing baseball, guys, I know you're young, and I've had a lot of defense and everything like that. But when you make an out, you have to be able to change your mind and change your, your thought process to go out and play defense. And now you're only concentrating on defense. The same way, with base runners. You guys are uh, all, all, all in the game. You guys don't lead off the bag. But when you're on bases, you have to think about base running. And even at the major league level, at the major league level, the biggest weakness in major league baseball is players making the right decisions on the bases. Guys and girls, what Leon is talking about, when you walk into the classroom, and your teacher's teaching you English, and then all of a sudden, in an hour, they're teaching you math. Yeah. You have to be able to close the door and stop thinking about your English and concentrate on your math. Is that right? You're saying the same thing, same thing. that you do in a baseball game. When you're hitting, you're focused on hitting the ball. When you go back out into the field, no matter what you did, if you didn't do well on that math test, you can't all of a sudden say, hey, I'm not going to be a good English uh, student, right? And so you have to be able to shut the door and go back out there and play the game the way you know how to play. You understand what, what he's saying? That's, That's right. Important. That's a good point. That's a good point. Now, when you guys are, when you guys are playing baseball, take these off. When you guys are playing baseball, you put the uniform on, okay? Now, when you guys step on a baseball field, it's like I played over in Japan for 10 years. I played in Japan for 10 years. And they, 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 the game is very, very sacred to them. And, it, and I'll say that because they... <laughs> but now, if I look at the outfield, what I call seeing the game, I see the game before it happens. So if I see Corey Hunter in the center, Corey's got a pretty good arm. But if I see Juan Pierre out there, I'll tell Juan this too. <laughs> so now I'm in first base and the ball hits one here and he's got to run to his right. Why do I need to Right? So these are things, guys, that you can practice on all by yourself. You can do it at home. You can imagine that you're a big runner. Oh, there's a line drive in right center. Do I go to third or do I stop? So now when you get the game, even hitting, building, if you're an outfielder, okay, if you're, or I'll say you're a second base, right, Jack? So I'm a playing second base, like Joe playing second base shortstop. So if I got uh, a back runner, you guys are going to do. I think that you really got to understand what your ability level and learn 
learn how to coach yourself. That's really important. We grew up, we played a lot of pickup ball. You guys don't have a chance to do that. We coached ourselves. We umpired ourselves. We made our own decisions. That's how we learned how to play the game. But now when we play for ball, we go. When we draft a player from high school or college, we say, we can't assume that they know anything. We know they know how to play, but can they make the right decisions for the baseball game? What we learned now when we were growing up, what I'm encouraging you guys, if you really want to play, if you really have a passion to play, take go home, get a rubber ball, a baseball, a bat, and every single day practice. Because as we're speaking today, there's kids in Japan, they're practicing. Today is now about 5 o'clock here, 4 o'clock, or 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow there. So they're practicing all right. See what I mean? And we can work with good draft players, we travel. Derek's heart the most, and that's the St. John's Women's Shelter. The women and children in that shelter have the biggest challenges, more challenges than you and I could ever imagine. And when Derek went there and saw that, he decided that he needed to do something to give back to this community. If that's the only lesson that you learn today, is to take the things that Derek is teaching you today and give back to somebody else, that's the greatest lesson you'll ever learn. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce Derek Lee. Thank you, sir. What's up, guys? Uh, first, again, thank you. Uh, you know, we think we have the glove on our hand, and the key is our hand, but the key is good work. My high school coach is right here. He's one of the people we're talking about. But uh, the key to catching this baseball is getting our kid in the right position. So I want you guys to do what I do. We don't want to start. We don't want to start too low. We don't, we don't want to start too straight up. We want to start in a nice, athletic position. So that's about. 20.